It's the Yak. Welcome in. Presented by Roback. Promo code Yak. 20% off your first purchase. Promo code Yak. I'm wearing the joggers right now. They got shorts out. Q-zips, polos, hoodies, everything in the Roback store. 20% off. First purchase. Roback.com. R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. Use code Yak. 20% off your first purchase. Hello, everyone. Rico is here. Rico. Rico. Hello. Hello. Hey. What's up? <laughs> How's it going, Rico? Pretty good. I told this story on Pick Central. I think I should embarrass myself from the get-go. I uh, drove away with the gas uh, thing still in the car the other night. Oh, what? Oh, what happened? Well, I found this out when I did it the first time 10 years ago. They make them to break away, like the cartoon of dragging the gas thing yeah. down the street. Like a chinchilla tail. Doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah. What do you got on your brain that made you Predators. do that? Uh, it was like a long day, and it just, yeah, I just fog. Speaking he, of. Well, he also gave me the card back real quick. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. Speaking of driving I, away, uh, did you do anything else with your car that was interesting yesterday? Yeah, I asked Spider for a favor. You have Spider as your valet? Absolutely not. You had Spider go get your car so you didn't have to walk to your car? Spider as your valet? I was up against a timeline of doing something, and he saved me about 15 minutes, of which I've never asked before and thanked him eight or nine times for. It was a classic case of against a timeline of doing something. Right. Exactly. (laughs) And you got a valet, personal. For yesterday at one point, yeah. Yeah. Did you tip him? Not yet. He was leaving. Oh, for not yet. Oh, a delayed well, tip is well, way worse. No, I want to do. I like doing personalized, like a gift that matters. More. What are you gonna get him? Something NASCAR, based on what he's been doing and how much he liked that fanny pack. He gets a lot of free NASCAR stuff, though. Why don't we go a little deeper? Why don't you get him an engraved Zippo? Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. I like that. Okay, cool. Why don't you get him a pet spider? Yeah, tarantula. <laughs> like a really cool. Yeah, yeah tarantula. Yeah, that's safe. I mean, if you want, well, uh, it's up to him to keep it. Yeah, and right. he can decide what to do with it. Fair enough. If he wants to use it as a weapon against somebody. That's his spider. He yeah. wants to just step on it. That's he his spider. Squash it. Well, how big does a spider have to be before people would be like, "Oh, you squash a tarantula because that would be disgusting, right?" Yeah, I think you can. Why wouldn't you be able to? Yes, you, you, you could, could squash it, but I bet you it would have remnants. Yeah, yeah it would be icky. It would I have stepped a barefoot area on a that. really big caterpillar on my driveway that's once, gross. and it was there was so much guts in it. It literally was. Like sliding down the driveway, like like, yeah, uh, like all the over driveway my vertical. Pet. How did that happen? No, my driveway was on a hill, and I stepped. It was my pet caterpillar. I let it out for a walk, and I forgot. I was like running around <laughs> barefoot, and I stepped. It was like one of those big plump ones, oh, and the guts yeah. literally oh, was, God. was everywhere. I don't like this. Were kids like in this. your neighborhood uh, salt on slugs, people? Yeah, we were yeah. like magnifying cool glass watch. on the ants. Yeah, I I oh, just salt on the slug. Salt on the slug, that. they start sizzling. Yeah, that's that's are something. You, are you guys are you guys raw dog bug killers? Because I am. Oh no, no. With your bare hands? Oh yeah, it used to be. No, don't God, kill bugs. No. I feel like such a man. I will pick up a bug, take it out, and put it in the yard. I will never. Kill oh, I'll squash any bug any size with, your hand. with my hand. Sometimes I'll pinch them. No. Yeah. Isn't that they, how like the plague gets started? I feel like King Kong. My grandfather would gra- grab yeah. a wasp nest and and yeah. shit in his hand. You guys should oh. try it. It feels like it feels incredible because usually like people freak out. Oh, bug, bug, bug! Try to grab something. Just walk up, bang. Back when there were the cicadas, and then, Power lick, moves. It, and then lick it. Yeah, yeah. Summers lick. get cicadas. I, I was a kid. I loved squashing those. Yeah. I think you could pull one of their back legs and their head shoots off. It's like connected. <laughs> See, very cool. It is cool. We used to do. We had those. Remember those big red bats? What? No. Big, I thought you meant like the flying mammal. I don't know. Yeah, the, me too. Uh, me uh, too. Uh, yeah. Okay. That guy can I thought you were we killing were talking bats. about. We were talking right. about creatures. And you said, "Do you remember those big red bats?" It. it, it, it I'll get there. Okay. Big red baseball bats, the fat oh, yeah. one that everyone oh, had. Sure, yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. We had a problem with it, these big bumblebees in a nest, and they would start uh, coming at us all the time. They get a little close. We would tee off on the bees, and they would just go fucking flying. It was more interesting when it was a big red bat, the the flying creature. Yeah, fair enough. That's a hell of a. We story. would swing the big red bat at these big ass bumblebees. Well, bumblebees are are not a danger at all, though. Oh. It could. Uh, they don't. They're they annoying. Are. No, they they don't. They right. you, you shouldn't. I think it's a crime. Right. You can't. You shouldn't kill bumblebees. Retroactive. When I was a teen, uh, do you guys have lightning bugs where you grew up? Oh like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I would tee off on those, the wiffle ball bats. And you could break it. You would Why? capture them? Capturing them in a jar? They would live for like a day. They would just suffocate to death. Yeah. You, you could put holes in the jar. slowly kill them. 
You could also break the glowing things and like rub it on you and you'd glow. Now, I was at That's a- how Moana got uh, tricked to crap. No way. Yeah. yeah. I've been watching You're a deep lot in Moana. Of them. Oh my it's god, it's so good! It's so good, and I watch it every. It's it's day. so much better than it has any right to be. It really is. And the music, that one song by The Rock, we listen to it on repeat oh, all the time. You're welcome. I haven't you seen Moana. Ba, 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 you should. It's oh, very right. good. So addicting. What's your favorite song? Shiny. Shiny. Yeah. Shiny's the real Moana fan's favorite song. I like You're Welcome too, even though. You're welcome's a Shiny's the guy from Flight of the Concords. No way. Yeah. He did all the songs for the Muppets as well. Ooh. He's really good. Brett. He's talented. Brett McKenzie. Brit. What about yeah. the song Brit. when they're uh they're sailing away? Yeah, no, that's you're casual. Huh. <laughs> I've seen Moana. You just did like great like, oh I love the Grateful Dead, you touch a gray. I would say Moana's a top or, uh, ten movie of the last decade. That's wow. how kids Or like kids Nirvana, yeah. like Oh, I would say movie. Yeah, like smells like teen. It's so good. Yeah, right. You'd be like, come on, bro. My well, I don't, we don't need a lot. All the songs are good though, Steven. So I'm correct. not trying to discourage it's you. It's true. I'm not going to gatekeep, but I kind of did. Frozen's what, good, too, though. What Disney movie has the best soundtrack? Well, Frozen. Lion King's is pretty good. Mulan. Some Lion, of the back well, in the Mulan. days are, Lion. I mean, Lion Aladdin had some Lion. bangers. And Kanta's very good, too. Modern day. Yes. Kanta is, oh, honest, what is Encanta? Good. You're, you're going to find out in, a, in about a month. If I know, but what is it? Lion King had some bangers. I think uh, it was Lion King is probably number one. I think I wish oh. somebody had said Lion King. While we're on this, I finally, it finally happened. I've I've told this many times in this show that I would do everything I can to keep my kids from watching Blippy. Oh yeah, it's over. I came home yesterday. Uh, my wife's out of town. Our regular nanny's on vacation, so there's another woman looking after them during the day. And I went to turn on the TV to let them watch something after dinner and everything, and it was just staring. And my son was like, "I want to watch that." And I was Did like, "You have to sit down and it. tell him that he shouldn't." I will. I will. Yeah. If we keep watching it, I will have to show him. Uh, oh, you <laughs> will. Video. It just happened to us last week, and I think the algorithm on YouTube just sent him there, and now it's all he wants. I it's feel like, like okay. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make my son wants. watch the the Harlem Shake Blippy. Yeah. And be like, do you still want to watch this guy? Yeah. In fairness, this is a question you would ask me. All right, this is a big cat question, but your wife is out of town and your nanny's on vacation at the same time. Are they having an affair? <laughs> I don't think so. That'd be hot. That's what you would ask That'd me. Be hot. Yeah, no, I don't think so. But that is a fair question. I mean, it just seems like they, they went out town at the same. Both of them right There's now. no yeah. going back now that he's seen it. Worth I'm unfamiliar with this screwed. Harlem Shake video. Oh, it's oh. Blippi getting sh- sh- uh, pooping in another guy's butt. What? It, it looks, looks like, that's, exactly it looks like, like that. that. What? Yeah. It's when the bass drops oh, on Do the Harlem that? Shake. That's a, that's a recreation of it because they took it down on like basically yeah. every format. Oh. That PFD? You have to get that's like a hundred viruses. <laughs> it was he used to go be in a comedy troupe where he went by the name of Steezy Grossman, uh-huh. and that was one of their videos. And I don't want to like listen. Everyone is young and dumb at some point. I am. I'm more come at it from a. Uh, admiration. It was one of the funniest Harlem Shake videos I've ever seen. I had tears in my eyes. I sent it to everyone. It's not like a, how could this guy have a career as a children's uh, whatever he does? It's more like, dude, you made a banger. Let's embrace it. Yeah. Like, it's funny. A lot of people have gone from very crass to child-friendly content. Um, yeah, Mr. Uh, Rogers was a heroin dealer, right? Yeah, he was a heroin dealer. We went the yeah. other way. Mm-hmm. Um, Bob Saget. Yeah, he was very dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Filthy Frank. Filthy Frank, yeah. Lamb Chop OG. did porn for a Lamb long chop. time. Lamb yeah. Chop did, yeah. Uh, she was uh, throwing it Double back. anal only. Yeah. Double anal. Double anal. Double anal. Double anal. Yeah. This did a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All your favorites. Yeah. I've probably done double anal. <laughs> uh, wait. So, oh, I just, uh, I just had a TikTok meeting. Yeah? yeah, you did. I had a TikTok. You're meeting. taking it very seriously. I was. I'm taking TikTok very seriously. I just dropped a banger. If you want to play it, TJ, I, I bodied this kid, which I'm told I'm not allowed to bully. Why not? You're not allowed to bully. The robot on TikTok can sense bullying. Oh. How do you stop cursing on the thing? I got that email. and You have to censor it Yeah. or just say something Is else. Is there an app on there? Katie always just takes it out for me. Don't you take it out? I need to figure out how because I don't know. Just a reminder that it's 2023, um, and that means it's time to stop putting that horrible fucking oh no sound on every single fucking video. Uh-oh. Oh no, oh no, stop, we're done. Hey everyone, just a reminder, <laughs> I just got on TikTok, so we're just getting started. Hit the music. 
Oh, oh no! The fucking turks on him. <laughs> Suck it, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be a weapon. Yeah. So every TikTok is oh no. Yeah, most, oh, most. Yeah, I like I, calling card. Like Everyone it. needs yeah, a I like card. it. Jack yeah. Mac has half a calling card, Harry. Yeah, five hundred thousand. Half a million followers. Everyone needs a calling card. People hear the oh no and they think me. Synonymous. TJ, are you doing your forty minute stream today? Yes. Hell yes. Now one of those boxes, TJ. Can I say what it said on it? Yeah, it's a fake. It's a well, I guess which one? Live insects. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw it directly in the garbage. Have you looked into it? Can Have you looked at the box? Can we open that one now? It's probably it's either ants or ladybugs. Ugh. Can we open it now? Uh, yeah, just gonna yeah, go let's open it now. Are you doing that way. as part of the yak or, is, or? Oh, let's open it now. I would like to open that right now. Yeah, yeah. Right. Maybe it's a tarantula. We're, we're just you we're gonna open spider. insects. Oh. That we're gonna do. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, I think we should. If someone in here doesn't mind crushing them with his bare hands, I got it. I'll kill them all. There's a place across the street that does, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tweet out that we're open. How is it? Box of the, so they're upside down so Sicilian average. slice, so except for they're upside down Sicilian slice. I've had that. It's, it's, I don't know why Nick? you love it so much. Uh, it's very good. It's very it good. reminds me of when my mom used to make Chef Boyardee. Yep. <laughs> what? That's funny. We had the, uh, Why? He said Why did it, your mom like, have to make your Chef Boyardee? That's very I was a boy. You no, know, Chef Boyardee's, that wasn't his real name. What? Um, this is one of those situations where I wish I remembered things because Adam Richmond told us this and it was very interesting. And I was like, wow, that's interesting. And I didn't remember any of it. Uh, but it, trust me, the best it. stories are told when you don't have any of the details. You're like, just trust me, it was a good story. Yeah. I, I believe you. Can and microwave no, can. no, no, no. Chef no, Boyardee had Chef pizza. Chef pizza. Or my mom would spread oh, okay. out the dough and then yeah. it comes with a can of just sauce and you just dump sauce. So there's good. no cheese except for the sprinkle kind. And yeah. you bake it, and it's the best. And that's what that is. It's just sauce. Oh, you like Bravo. Uh, only Bravo. The, only the Upside Down. We fuck with that restaurant a lot for Anus. We print out fake menu items and hang it on their door. <laughs> and go in and ask. Oh, yeah. What would you guys get? A, uh, we made Wheat Grinkus not wheat too long ago. <laughs> yeah. So, can you find out what Chef Bordy's <laughs> real name is? <laughs> you drive me insane. I guess he also- Is there an actual chef? I thought it was just a, an yeah. amalgamation well, of- Well, he also- That's called Chef Bordy shit in a can. He <laughs> got, like, the canning contract <laughs> oh. for um, the U.S. government during World War II. I, That's how he became. Mm. Hey, I have confused a lot of this. Thing. I did not think the live insects was going to be in an envelope. Me yeah, neither. and, I'm and a then it's usually concerned. in a tube. And so when you buy insects online, Aren't you an ant farm guy? I was an ant farm guy. What happened? They ran away. <laughs> Damn! I didn't close it. They left they're the also like industrious me. creatures. I think I've said this on here before, but the guys' rugby team used to fuck with our girls' rugby team house all the time. And so one time we went to the pet store and we bought like a thousand crickets for like ten dollars, oh, and we released them in their house. Hard to find a cricket. Remember, I, I wanted to find a cricket. Loud. I had, I had cricket. Yeah, they're we, loud. We get them in the like we three dozen up, crickets when I was gone. It was like eight or nine. We had one in the wall in the basement, and my <laughs> my dad would be watching Nick games down there. I'd have to take a pop shot and fire it at the wall to get the cricket. Yeah. And shot. then it would it would get scared or whatever, but you didn't kill it, and it would go right back, and it's just doop, doop, kill you all. Like I bet you it'll be in a tube. My heart is pounding. Why are you doing this? I don't know. Open right away. How long have you had this, TJ? It says open it's immediately. Like Tuesday? Oh, okay, yeah. so they're dead. Sans. <laughs> oh, no. They're dead. Oh, this kid's so happy. They're dead. They're all dead. No yeah, way. Oh, said, no. no. It says oh. open right away. No, there's I a bet couple in here that are alive. They, they, they bring them to you. I think there's probably a, is there a carrot strip in there? But here's the sad part. There's no house to put them in. Well, are you just, oh. It's tubes, and the, they're usually cold sent to you. And you put, when alive you, or dead? You get them. You put them in the freezer. It, says it looks like there's literally just one remaining. Put him out. I'll step on him. Oh, let's not kill him. Why? He made he it. Deserves He's, to live. Yeah, he does deserve to live. Let him out and give him a uh, give him a wax bottle. Oh my God! There's literally yeah. only one left in there. That's. Ah! He's got to. Right, He's got to feel uh, awful. Yeah, he's got to feel really bad. He might have killed the others. You don't know. That's yeah. true. You were just bragging it's, about being I think a, it's a bear donor party situation. All right, let him out. Let him out. Yeah, why don't you let him out, Kate? Let them all out and see which oh, just ones. Just let the one out. Yeah. We're going to crawl over let the dead bodies ants. of his friends. Oh, God. Each tube has like one ant left being like, oh. then let it out. All right, give them to me. I'll let them out. Yeah, Jesus. Something has to happen here. Just gonna them watch them slowly die. Pour a little water. Or then, like, onto the piece of paper yeah, as you can see, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Why do they need water? Put them on the box. Put them on the box. Put them on the box. Yeah, no, no, put them on a white piece of paper on the box. Here, put our yak's oh, prep yeah, sheets yeah, yeah. down. Here. Put our prep sheets here, down. Here, here. Right here. No, Kate, right here. Okay. 
Yeah. That's got ads I can't read anyway, so I don't need it. Oh. We just unscrew it? They're gonna, do you think their corpses smell? No. Oh, they probably do. Ants though. drink water? Yeah, little beans. Oh my god, ants can sting? Oh, what? Are those red ants? Oh, there's more alive in there. That, look, they're all coming back. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're, oh, they're asleep. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're moving. Oh, no, they're all alive, Kate. <laughs> oh, shit, they weren't. All of them? Yeah. Right for a minute. They're all they were just alive. chilling. They were, like, probably just hibernating. Well, what are we supposed to feed them? Should I go get chips? Go get a carrot stick. I Why should go get a carrot stick? Ants love carrot sticks, man. Celery, apple, carrot. Yeah, so, oh, boy. That's just a clump of ants. Okay, I'm going to go get some fruit. Wait, what are we gonna do? We're not going to actually keep... Why did you pour out like hits. some of them and not all of them? I think if we just put them in the garbage, Chosen few. we'll be very happy. What if you just lit them on fire a little bit? Yeah, okay. just a little bit. No, just a little bit. He said a little bit. He did say a little bit. Like the ones in the tube. Just put... Was that not going to give you... <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to give you a strike? <laughs> uh, like somebody it. in the chat saying that one of the other packages has an ant farm for them. I'm, oh. I'm, I, I'm not going to take We don't really need that. the farm. Those are all dead. They're all dead. Right. We just need yeah. a graveyard. Dead. Those are dead on arrival. TJ, you probably should have done this Tuesday. You had them since it's Tuesday. It's my unboxing. It's not there. But it said open immediately. I don't. They should have sent something Tommy, perishable. Though. Tommy, take these. Come take these ants. Take these ants, Tommy. Just, take these, just hold these. What are they? They're, they're come, ants. Take them. Take them. Just take them. They're fucking. Just take them, Tommy. Stop being a pussy. You're being a pussy. Just take them. They're in fucking bottles. Why are you being I'm a not, pussy? I'm not. Look, here. Take them there. From there. No take backs. No take backs. All right. Those it's Tommy's answers. problem now. <laughs> All right, Tommy. Take those to your desk. Go ahead. Get out of here. No, no. Kate, we're out. We're done with ants. Let them go outside. Get out of here. No take backs. No take backs. Get out of here. Pop the Scram. Them outside. All right, see? Not our problem. What about the living ants? Kate, they're all dead. No. They're all dead. Yeah, they're done. Night, night. Oh, God. Well, if there were a little ants, I wanted to help them. Can I throw these out? No, 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 no. Here, give them this. No, 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 no. Please. See, that's how you do it. They're crawling up the tubes. That's a little lesson on uh, to everyone. Tommy, get out of here. Go scram. If you have a problem in life, yeah. you give it to someone else and you say no take backs. And then it's their problem. So he just has to deal with it. And now the Yak listeners don't have to watch us kill ants. He's just putting it in the lobby and now it's just going to be... No, ants. no, 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 no. Bring that to your desk. No. To your desk. Get out of here. Scram. Tommy sits on the same row as me. So he could throw those out, but we don't know. What we did was we gave the ants a great home. Yeah. I, hope he does give them I trust Tommy that he'll raise those and yeah. love them. Those ants will be fantastic ants. Brandon, we, we talk about your weird up. body on the oh, NFL draft poster. All right. Body's that. I, I think that's mine. I, is it in shape? Is it I taut? I seen this. It's an interesting. I don't know what's going on with it. It doesn't. I don't know. What is it? it? It's the NFL draft up. Uh, promo material apparently i my body is good and they're they're mad at it or something who's like, mad it's a real hot version of you i i don't know what to tell you um apparently i'm just a good looking guy uh brandon what did you what did you think about mincy just bodying you well i reacted to it on pick central I had, what did you say i had three reactions number one was he didn't say anything can you play the clip i want to see what mincy said i, I didn't see it i just say he bodied you okay then I'll give you my three reactions. Yeah, perfect. Okay. I also have a in support of Brandon re Brandon Walker. I'll just play the no, no, no. I want to see. I want to no. I want to hear his reactions. My three reactions. Oh, I, I, I will give them on this show. Yeah. yeah. Fair. Don't play this. Right. Don't yeah, play this. Play Mincy's video. Play Mincy's video. The rivalry is back on. Not really. Your mind right segment, and that's for you, my nemesis. Oh. My rival. <laughs> I guess my rival of Barstool. I guess you call yeah, him that. Rival. Whatever. It's South guy. Brandon Walker, this rant is for you. How soft are you? <laughs> you just got a new three-year contract you and you're moving to Chicago. You got everything you wanted. You bought your wife a freaking Benz. You got a house. And then you're texting Dave Portnoy threatening to quit because he's going too hard at you? What the hell is that? I mean, you dish out more crap at me and everybody in this company than anybody, period. And then you have to take some from the boss man and you're getting soft trying to quit. I mean, I know that things have calmed down in the last day or two, and I saw the bit on the act. You know, everything's good. We don't want you to quit. Everybody loves you, despite the fact that you go really hard at people. But I just can't believe you're that soft. I mean, I, I don't know. You just dish out so much to so many people, and then you take public heat and you threaten to quit? All right. Come on. We're uh, stronger than that. Three reactions. Okay. 
number one, fair play. He didn't say anything incorrect. Uh, I, I, he's fine. I, like I agree, he's right. I was a little soft. Uh, number two, it's fucking hilarious. He had to read that. Uh, read that? He was read. Yeah, he was reading that. He was. Uh, it, unless he was. Well, he was reading. That was. Yeah, he was reading that. Yeah. Okay. So there's a very good chance he didn't write it. Uh, and number three is. Well, I wrote it. And and <laughs> number three is he is incapable of being an asshole of being mean like in his insults to me right there he told me how i have a Benz, i have a new contract i have a house he just Please said don't go he just said a bunch of good things about me he's incapable of being a, a dick okay so my reaction to a sweet it guy was uh i actually i'll stand up for brandon for a second rare Brandon does take a lot of shit. I was just going to say, there was he one incorrect thing. He actually does take a lot of shit. Well, well, you get shit on he eats, constant. It, he eats it very well. Yeah. Uh, he just doesn't... Dave is a soft spot for him. Sore spot. And I don't know if Mincy realizes... Does Mincy know when we give him shit? Well, actually, no, we're not giving him shit. I don't think Mincy's he gets shit. Guy. He gets treated like... He, uh, like No, he, he doesn't get shit. Well, he's also wildly talented there you go right yeah so why would he get shit by the way tj do you have the video that mincy sent in for her stool scenes the unboxing one yeah 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 hold on wait he sent in a video for stool scenes liam said that uh mincy's assistant uh, executive assistant secretary is cruz and he has uh moody yeah sent sent a video being like just Wanted to give you this for uh, stool scenes. At least people will be able to see me cooking eggs on camera now. Um, Hopefully. Should use a skillet, right? Oh, no. Is he in on this? I don't think so. Uh, I thought so, but this goes on so long that I don't <laughs> think he could be. No, the, no, no, he's in on it. This is crazy. This is crazy. You gotta get Stella Blue stickers on those cabinets. Yeah. Prime advertising space. What is going on now? He's ripping it. No. There's no way. I think There's this is no a C section now of the box. Yeah. Bad. He's performing a C section. I just like that he goes all the way to a V studio abortion. to record in their kitchen lounge area. Yeah. Oh, turn right. it upside. God. <laughs> Don't. I, I'm. I can't believe this is real. I'm not getting gut. Oh yeah, the, he's it's it's too it's he. Why would he send this to stool scenes? Well, he sent like a bunch of clips, and Liam said it was just him shopping at Walmart. <laughs> I think this is. Pretty... How is he still? Going? It is impressive that it's. Yeah, if, it, if it's fake, he's doing a great job. No, no, no. <laughs> yes. It's no longer a box. Yes. He can't get it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, no, 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 no. What are the odds? Yes, yes. Why wouldn't somebody at least say, hey, can I just get it for you at this point? Because this is Dude, I don't, I don't care. I don't care if you guys think it's fake. I'm, I'm choosing to think it's real. And it's what he's doing, big cat? God damn it. <laughs> yeah. That's, come on. That's fucking crazy. Just, even if you think it's fake, just just choose to live in a world where it's it's real, and it's so much better. Come on, Brandon. I'm fine. I'm fine. I I don't go. I I I've stopped going at him. I don't go. I'm I'm fine. What he said today was fine. Everything's good. Terrific guy. Brandon, why don't you do the NASCAR? The camera's on you when you walk. Is that your body? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, my body. That's no. not your body. That's what my are you body. talking about. Also, Whose body's that? Look how hot I am. I know. Wait, You've that's... never worn a black shirt. Oh, ever. I wear black shirts all the time. No, you don't. I wear black shirts. Fingers. The face doesn't even look like you. It's it's uncanny. What? That uncanny is my valley. Oh, that's your thumb? That is my face. 
Yeah, I wait. saw your thumb. You don't have a bent thumb like that. Yeah, show us your thumb. Oh, oh, wait a so minute. So bent. It's so bent. That's my thumb. Look at that. Wow, you kind of do. Yeah, that's just me. I look uh, really that's a picture of Jay? you with somebody. Who's next to Che? Roan. Roan. Uh, Will. Oh, on the other side. Well, Will. Will. Out. Got it. Big Cat, I'm glad they got you like right before you sneezed. <laughs> I de- I don't know what I'm doing there. <laughs> I was like, there's enough photos of you online. <laughs> I think that was a. Uh, yeah, wait, go back to it. How many people we got on this goddamn show? They all look exactly the same. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I think something's going on with your glasses too. Are they? What do they do here? Frank's the one who looks the best. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, he really does. He looks. Looks like one of those things you get in those books uh, where it says like spot the differences. Yeah. So they enlarged your glasses. They changed his neck. Dude, yeah. Erotic photo hunt. That was the best game. It's erotic photo. You ever oh, played erotic in photo bar, hunt in a bar? In a dark yeah. bar. Oh yeah. Like I did, but, but where did you play it? In a one bar. Of those in a bar. Oh, on like on the bar. Any dive bar. One of those touchy game <laughs> things. <laughs> we have one of those. Yes. Why don't we have one of those? I don't think they have them anymore. Well, they got some retro. I'm sure you can find. So retro. Played at a bar in Wisconsin. It was the best. And there'd always be this. And then you just realize it's like five dudes at a pack bar <laughs> yeah. with like a bunch of single ladies, and you're standing there just looking at like. Old Playboy pictures, oh. being like, "Oh, oh, the fucking necklace. The necklace is different than the other one, right below her tit, right by her tits. That's awesome. Vase behind her. We'd have an ugly bra just sitting there all day playing those fucking word games. Oh yeah, erotic photo hunt. We should get it. Yeah, please. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. Do you think they s- sell old ones? What are those bar machines called? Bar machines. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, do the NASCAR read. I sure will do the NASCAR read. I will do any read that you will allow me to do. Oh, and- you need to read it. No, I don't. Hold on. Yeah, you do. I sure don't. Hold on, I got you. Just, just. No, no, no. no. His, his, ad don't. Sh- his, no. Ad, his ad sheets I are don't. right here. This Sunday, the Geico 500 oh. is in Talladega. It is the biggest party in NASCAR when they get to Talladega. The infield is awesome. The uh, RV area is awesome. The race is awesome. Talladega is a super speedway, and it always has drama, intrigue. There's always potential for some crazy sh- stuff to happen. Mm. Uh, <laughs> crazy stuff to happen when ta- NASCAR goes to Talladega. 4.30. Excuse me. April 23rd, 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Fox. This is the 75th anniversary season of NASCAR. Chase Elliott will be back for just the second race this year. Again, the Geico 500 this Sunday, April 23rd, 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Fox. Watch it. Enjoy it. Love it. Send right. the crew down there. Spider's on the way right now. He, had, he was uh, running late because he had to go get Rico's car yesterday. But he eventually got on the plane, um, and he is uh, – he did tell me he'd fly back if he needed if you needed to get you anything today. <laughs> Got it. I really love being on thin ice and then just trying to throw somebody out on the Correct. Pond. I don't know why y'all don't get that yet. Yeah. It's a survival tactic. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna punch Nadu around tonight on Twitter like there's he nobody. Say, did yeah. Spider say he had a problem with it? Um he was he was telling people that uh, maybe I shouldn't have had to do this. Got it. That's why you're getting him the oh, engraved Spider's Zippo. A great, Spider's a great guy. He's not going to say that. Yeah, no. He Spider would. didn't care at all. Yeah, Spider He's getting the engraved Zippo out of it. Mm-hmm. Or a tarantula. Yes. An engraved tarantula. What about a tarantula Zippo? Oh, I like that. A tarantula with a Zippo. Teach the tarantula how to use the Zippo. <laughs> That'd be cool. That'd be dangerous. That'd be you use eight at once. Awesome. Uh, are, you, are you more scared of the tarantula at that point or the fire? Tarantula. Tarantulas are, pr- are probably flammable. Fire tarantulas would. Oh yeah, they're definitely flammable. All that fur. Fire tarantulas is a minor league baseball. Oh, thing. that's got. Or a, s- a Pokemon. That's got to smell like it's hell. An electric tarantula. Yeah. Alvantula. Tarantula caught on fire is gonna smell like hell. It's gotta smell like pure ass. Or. <laughs> yeah. What? I don't know. What are you saying? Pure ass is just funny. Anytime somebody says pure ass. Wait, so Brandon, are you gonna clap back at Mincy? I'm not. No, he's going to take it out on the do. Yeah, I have no beef with what Mincy said. Mincy was right. I, I, there's no, there's. I no, do think you take a lot of shit. There's no value in me, and and I've I said this yesterday on Pick Central. I'll say it here. I, I, there's still a disconnect of what Dave thinks respect is and what I think respect is. He thinks respect is giving me a paycheck and giving me a nice life, and that's great. It that's is. awesome. That is respect. That is respect. And and but I think not being treated like a fucking child is is valuable. And and he doesn't think that. And. We're never going to. We're never gonna. Uh, I think he treats you like a child. I think he does. No, it's more like a piece of garbage. No, no, no. Maybe like fourteen. Like a like a pre uh, like a teen, teen a, early a teen. young early teen. Talk some shit. Yeah, talk he, some he doesn't do like baby talk to you. Oh, uh, I guess, but like 
I'd yeah. imagine ten year old maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be very funny. But I take I, I I think I do a good job taking a whole bunch of shit here, and this idea that he's a dish it can't take a guy is just completely incorrect. We had a you run at, at, during the serious era where we would shit on you every day for like two months. Y'all would have meetings where you're like, uh, we, I feel bad we're, we're shitting on him so much. And I would always say no. Yeah. Don't. Stay strong, boys. Yeah, the serious area was real. You have to break them. Real, real bad for me. Even off so bad I tried to get a job at Odyssey. Even off camera. like. <laughs> oh! Uh, that one Rico, was fair. That I one just want to let you know, Rico, something coming down the pike. Uh, so I... Uh, have greenlit a 30 for 30 on your two days of quitting Barstool. So I would like to see that documentary be made. I don't want to I don't want to bring this up to him as he's sitting there. That's like a fucking Gatlin gun barrel for him behind him. Yeah, that's true. What? <laughs> the other direction. Yeah, I don't know if you're allowed yeah, to yeah. see it. <laughs> we got two we got the two uh, biggest the magazine. Yeah. Who's the EP on that. He's like he's like Schwarzenegger with the fucking Rambo. Yeah. He could go dual vest. wield. Yeah, <laughs> we have the original pictures. That's me. It's my body. You? Holy yeah. shit! They found the original. Yeah. How long Who's the EP on that? It's me and uh, uh, I don't know. I haven't decided, but I do you not think that would be a, a very interesting documentary? I mean, the whole documentary. It's yeah, but like just that, like forty eight hours in in Bosco. That sounds great. Yeah. It's a great title. Like what happened Wild in those 48, 48 hours? Wild hours. Because, like, they've done 30 for 30s about trades that didn't happen. And, like, yeah. so that makes it sound like a country that's, like, war torn. Yeah, right. And it is. <laughs> yeah. It is. Just oh, it was climate. Yeah, I'd like to see some animation where it's. Every couple of hours, my wife kept being, like, another one. I was like, I got to go for a drive. I was driving. Phone was ringing. Ra- it's. Was- I like, you know what? I, I've I've already now envisioned it. The, the, the opening sequence is going to be, like, a zoom in. Of Rico sits down for a documentary type interview. Yeah. A zoom in slowly to his eye, then it goes into his eye, then you open up an animation world of his brain. Yeah. Oh. It's like a magic and it's just bus. like him. It's like a bunch of Ricos screaming at each other, being like, no, fuck you, fuck it's like, you. Take it. Don't take it. That's, I mean, that went on. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Oh, Rico's Don't do it. Shooting yeah. Ricos in Normandy. And then Trust them. Don't then try. Zo- I mean, this was legit. And then it zooms back out, and you're just like, so where should I start? Yeah, it's like a long exhale. <sighs> so what do you want to know? <laughs> and then it like no, this wouldn't be no and Just it's reading, so good. Reading yes. every, reading all of it, and not being able to respond yeah. way in nothing. It was just I was virtued. Uh, uh, we need at least like three people in the in the uh, witness rendered speechless. I yeah. Was. Yeah. Oh man. I'd like to know how many hours during that forty-eight you were either on the phone or texting or communicating or forty-five. Well, the yes. best part. The best part is, and we'll get this in the documentary, is that he was texting, calling, reaching out to me, Dave, and Hank, and all three of us were together. Ugh. There was because it was a rough and rowdy in Providence, so we uh, all like got together and we're like, "Did you hear?" And, uh, and we all like, uh, "That's like, where I think." Was Con's wife with y'all, or was she? Was oh, and on the count of three, we were like one, two, three, like Bosco. That's <laughs> where I think you you like to you like don't let the facts get in the way of a story. What At nine a.m. you were not in Providence. Right. 10 a.m. You were not. We all got to Providence. We all were like, you know, who reached out. And then we're like, Bosco. Well, some would say that that was probably smart. If you were all going to meet, I organized this. I just expedited the sit down. I mean, got it. I so either what? way, this documentary would do. <laughs> <laughs> this, this documentary would be fantastic. Yeah. I want to see it. Just bear it all. I want to see like. Those 911 shows where they do the reenactments. Oh, yeah. yeah. They reenact really, really everything yeah. and you guys. Oh, maybe we'll with re-enact, other actors. We'll we'll reenact ads? the fucking uh, the, the penalty kick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, everything. my God. Uh, selling ads? That would be incredible. Yeah, let's It'd be like Jordan. Jordan. Jordan, I just watched Eric. He uh, orchestrated a percentage of every shoe sale. I want yeah. every download. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we like hire actors off Craigslist to be yes. everyone in region. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, the kick, those three days, that's probably where it started. Yeah, no, I know. The uh, the be, ha, being up in Massachusetts for the dozen, coming back, you cheat, and like it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. You put and yeah. Kick, oh yeah. man, the reenactment of Rico putting Jay Snowden in a chokehold. Hmm. That will be <laughs> hell of a. <laughs> we'll have to get very talented stuntmen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just beating him up, being like, "I want to talk to you. <laughs> Who do you like tonight?" <laughs> All right, so that's been greenlit. I just want to let you know. All right, uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a passion project of mine. <laughs> yeah, I can see it right now.
I need I need to know something. Is this all a joke? Because that I would would watch. No, I I, I that opening that. scene I just described. Right. I would love to see it. Okay. Because I think it would hook everyone in. Of just yeah, a circus of just like Ricos swinging around would on you? trees, other Ricos, you know, <laughs> digging holes, <laughs> <laughs> screaming at each other. Yes. Oh, a lot man. of people would be yeah. Yeah. Oh, there'd be thousands of Ricos in there. Little Nadu shows up in Rico's brain, and all the other Ricos start beating him up. <laughs> yeah. Lighting Lay him em. on fire. <laughs> oh. uh, by the way, we have a jank state tonight. Oh, yeah. Who does? A big Me, one. Steven, and Nick. Really? Are yep. going to the Knicks playoff game. Good. Good. So it's going to be, I think this is it. I think. I thought you were holding out. No, I, I, I was holding out to a playoff game. It's a delightful uh-huh. game. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Y'all we're taking wood? him. I it, he did. I it would be crazy Taking for him, him to buy three tickets. For, sitting on the wood? I don't think so. Okay. I mean, the playoff tickets are expensive. Yeah. You want to really test this guy? Bring your kids. Why are we testing him? He's uh, like, yeah, I thought you were. Te- I thought the whole thing was a test. Oh well, we're gonna go on a date. If he, he can has, handle that, he yeah. has you want to be my entire, friend? This is who I am. We're gonna pass he, these tests. Yeah, gonna give us a report of, of who the best date was. after this. Oh, okay, I got it. He said he's already working on the report. And it's this only is loosely. The final fun. one. I don't think I'll be the best, but I think I'll be good. I think I'll be up there. He'll get almost all of us, right? Uh, yeah. He's already had Che, right? Che, che first. Brandon, yep, Frank, you go. Frank. No, we're Stu, going to get Glennie. Stu, Stu oh, okay. Glenny. I was thinking that's kind of like. I've already fluffed him for you. It's a little, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I didn't I think Kate could go on a date. Oh, that's right. You were with me. I had to warm him up. We, we, we did our first it. stage right. at the bar. No, I feel comfortable saying this because I know Jenks is watching right now. Um, You'll have to kiss him. He is very excited, Stephen. I think you need to sit next to him. It's fine. He, he did contact me today he said i cleared my entire schedule this afternoon he sat next to Che, and i was like dude i gotta go home and take care of my kids then i'm coming back like yeah. but you will That's i'm cool. excited i want to go i wanted to go to a knicks game at, at, at the garden for playoffs uh it's his first ever knicks playoff game it's cool at the garden nice. so it's gonna be fun i'm very excited There's four sure. quarters i think you should you should all switch places four times i'm gonna feel it out what i'm gonna do is steven's gonna just be a little buffer and then if jenks is you know Mm-hmm. Then we'll then we'll then we'll switch it up. Yeah. What are you gonna get to eat, Stephen? At the game, yeah. the best thing to eat at the game is Carnegie Deli pastrami. Okay. But they used to. I don't know. It's an eight thirty tip, so I might eat before that. Mm. It Maybe I'll just eat some popcorn. It's an eight thirty tip. I did. Yeah. I spent the entire morning thinking it was a seven thirty tip, and then I realized oh. it was eight thirty. I just found out about it. Yeah. Kids gonna be by themselves at the apartment tonight. Just no, chilling? everyone's coming back today. So Rico, oh, guess what jersey out. Che is wearing. Vacation? Uh, sight unseen. Throwback or current? What's Throwback. It? Not current. What was the question? It's very what, large. What, what what jersey is Jay wearing? Oh, Oakley. No, no. Hold on. Mason. hold on. Hold I'll on. Let, hold I'll on. let you look at Steve's face. Wait, did you say current? <laughs> no, throwback. Not, not a current player. I'll let you look at his face for half a second. All right, now look back at me. Now Rico, take your guess. Mason. Come on now. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Alan Houston. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, uh, Lynn. Yeah. Yeah. That's not nice. Jeremy Lynn. What are you talking uh, about? Of course. Yeah, that's nice. Of course. It was a good uh, it was a good month. Good month for Nick fans. I was at almost every one of those games. No way. Yeah. Were people like dapping you up as you were walking out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did, you, did you like Jeremy Lynn more as a Nick player or an Asian? Oh, definitely an Asian. Nick player. Oh. Okay. But it was a little bit of. It's my guy, right? I think he got a also, ring. Yeah. Recently. It was awesome. With it was an incredible. Oh, with, with Toronto? Uh, Toronto. Well, he did, yeah. Him and another Nick who was a flash in the pan, Landry, Landry Fields. Fields. And His Nurse. Best friend. Landry Fields, Purdue? Uh, Stanford. 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 Yes. Stanford. He's one of the few guys that came to the league I was thinking changed. of Carl Landry. It was Carl Landry. Uh, and then his brother played for Wisconsin. Landry Fields, one of the few guys who came into the league as a righty and changed to shoot lefty as a pro. There's been o- there's been others. Mason Plumley. Current. That's insane. Step your pussy up. Why would you do that just to get an edge? Oh, oh whoa, 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 whoa. Time, oh. time, time. It's a Friday afternoon. We're just having fun. <laughs> Hold on. What did you say? Step, step your pussy up. Step your pussy up. <laughs> yeah. Saying. What is that saying? Step your pussy up. Okay, yeah. can you search if that's ever been tweeted? Step your pussy up. What does that even yeah. mean? Yeah. You got to know that. He's a current player in the NBA. No, no, no. I'm not. We're, we're off that. 
You're change to shoot whelped. lefty. You said step your pussy up. Yeah. That sounded like something that would be said on like a Dr. Phil set. Yeah. An estranged daughter to her mom. He's yeah. the trippy guy. Step your guy. pussy up. Well, yeah, why do Brandon's you the trippy guy. I think he's ever said that to his wife. Step your pussy up. Step your pussy up. <laughs> step it up right here to my face. <laughs> Step your, Step pussy, your up. pussy up is a saying. No, it's not. It's yes. not. It's not. That was it's so on. uncomfortable. Who the fuck are people to tell me to not share how much I make from my hard work on OnlyFans? I work my ass off to make some of the best content in the industry. This is literal, off. not a saying. Well, you stop complaining and step your pussy up and concentrate on making better content. <laughs> That's literal. That is very literal. Yeah. As literal as it gets. Step your pussy up. Step your pussy. Australian coffee yeah. is too good. America, step your pussy up. Oh, fuck. No, there's a lot of step your pussy up tweets here. Is it an Australian Quote tweet this from Stella Blue. Yeah. Oh, as they say, you know where it's send from. It to, send it to uh, me. What's going on? It's RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh. Yeah. Ste- the steamroller. Oh. Yeah, let's get him in here for a sec. Real quick. He's got the step his pussy up. shirt on, yeah. the limited yeah. edition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, Hell yeah. Let's see, let's see if we can get steamroller in here. Robbie, Robbie, can we can we ask him one question? Steamroller, what's up, brother? What up, dude? Hello, uh, welcome, uh, Je- welcome. Jerry ducked you. Nice to meet you. Jerry ducked oh, you. Yeah. Today. How's it going? Hello, how's it going? Hello. I love the accent. Ducked you. Awesome. I have one question for you. Oh, we're doing handshakes with everyone. You love the whole it. Whole gag. Yeah. Dude, Roll look at that seat. shirt. Oh, the shirt. All right. So, uh, Steamroller, UFC fighter. He, uh, Jerry ducked you. I have one question for you. Because you're about to do uh, Bob Fox spinning back fist with Ev. Uh, have you? You've been in, in the fight game for a very long time. Tough guy. You've been in a lot of scraps. You've been with a lot of tough guys. Has anyone ever at, told you in a fighting manner, step your pussy up? <laughs> no, they haven't. Okay, all right. Well, that's it. Would you ever use that? I would. Okay. Step and if somebody said that to me... I would respect it. Okay. That's a good one. Oh, God damn it. Steven just. You can have it if you'd like to use it. Oh, I yeah, will. Steven I will. just said that to Brandon just like off the cuff. He told me to step, step my pussy up. Step your pussy up. It's a good one. I mean, I'm about to fight Drew Dober. So I'm thinking like. Step your pussy like up, Drew. Ben Dober. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ben Dober, Drew Dober. It'll work. If you It'll work. Someone to write like a little promo for you. Nick can do that. Yeah. I'll write it. I appreciate that. I'll write it. Are you upset that Jerry's not here? A little bit, you know. I wanted, I wanted to talk to him. You know, I had a little present for him. Oh, I got him little diapers over there. Oh, yeah, oh you brought him diapers. <laughs> you got for him or his son? No, not his son. Okay, for him, for him. But I wanted, I wanted to squash the beef. You know, I wanted to talk to him because I like him, man. I think he's funny, but dude needs to have some fucking respect. Yeah, he's got to step his pussy up. He does he needs to step his pussy? Up. <laughs> well, now you're just carrying diapers around for no reason. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're the diaper guy. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, have fun on Spinning Back Fist. Everyone go listen to Spinning Back Fist. Uh, Going to be a great interview, and good luck. Thank you, man. Yeah. yeah. This is the second time on the Yak, and the first time I walked in here and was on the Yak, I gave my shout-out to my boy Brian right here. He's a big yacker. Shout-out, oh, Brian. Shirt. Brian. Shout-out, Brian. Yeah. Limited Woo! edition. Yes. Yep. You know, big golfer, big Mets fan, and uh, <coughs> yeah, we out here. You want a job here? Yeah, yeah sure, I'll take one. All right, big <laughs> golfer, <laughs> Mets fan, we're we, good. Can we spin the wheel? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. But you have to. You guys are all on you're it. You're all on it. All right. We don't have well, anything. I'll, if oh. it's wet, I'll volunteer as tribute. Okay. All right. Well, no, we have to let the wheel decide. We don't have That's anybody. what I figured. That's what I figured. I don't <laughs> want to step on it. Gotta respect the, the wheel. We don't have anybody to yell about the Mets, so we do yeah, have we an could use that. It's Frank. Uh, it's going to be wet, isn't it? Um, yeah. no, no. Oh. All right. We're good. We're good. All right. All right. We did it, though. Yeah, we did do it. Thank you. All right. Yeah, yeah. Have a good interview. Appreciate good it. Good to meet you, man. All right, guys. Yeah, go yeah. check out uh, Spin Back Fest. Okay, you remember when I knocked that last guy out and I was literally right in front of you and Theo Vaughn? Yes. At the, um, was it at here? MSG. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had insane seats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. That, the highlight of that was I see, like, a picture of me knocking him out. I see you. I think we Abe, bet on you. Theo Vaughn, yeah. like, right there. I'm like, that's my boy. Yeah, I think that's we bet boy. on you, so we were very excited. <laughs> Yeah, that had to feel good too, Dave. Just being like, "Hey, Jerry, sh- shut up." Oh yeah, he's I mean, our guy. I think Jerry knows knows who I am now. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. He's got to step go. his pussy up. He does. All right, man. Have a good interview. Thanks, See you, boys. Bro. Take it easy. He's rocking the luck. Shout out to rocking the luck. Oh, yeah, I saw that hat. Let's go. Let's go. Dude. Hell yeah. Jerry actually got it. Oh hell yeah! Thank you so much. Yes. That's a great Muggsy outfit. And I mean. The jean jacket with no shirt, no shirt is fire. Yeah, that's the way to go. Now he's going to step his pussy up. He's stepping his pussy up. Dude, he followed me like right after the jury thing. I was terrified. Oh, yeah. What did I do? Because I had known the... I was like, he's coming. He's just coming for everybody. Yeah. I don't know. 
Step your pussies up. Step your pussy up. It's a RuPaul Drag Race quote. Apparently, that's what they say on RuPaul Drag Race. It just sounded it so bad. dead last in uh, Enrique's uh, Drew pa- RuPaul uh, Fantasy League. <gasps> it came in dead last. No. My dad has never been more proud. <laughs> <laughs> I would have won. He would have disowned me. Damn, I wish I had known. I would have been in that Fantasy League. It was a thousand bucks. I step my pussy up. Yeah, you do. I start saying that nonstop. I like it. Step your pussy up. Because I want like a big dog us. shirt that just yeah. says that. Step your pussy well, up. Well, the cat. It's like him like yeah. walking on cats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Step yeah. your pussy yeah, up. Yeah, they're, yeah, those <laughs> weird cats. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> That'll be in the store by 7 o'clock tonight. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, by the way, high noon. It is springtime. It is warm weather. High noon is the drink of spring and summer. Right over there. It is real vodka, real juice, sparkling water, made with vodka, not with malt like other hard seltzers. High noon seltzer is the perfect refreshing drink for a hot day. They now have big cans, 700 milliliters of peach and pineapple available. My favorite flavor is peach. I love peach. Only 100 calories. Gluten-free, no added sugar. High noon full-time flavors are pineapple, cherry, black cherry, Watermelon, grapefruit, lime, peach, mango, passion fruit, and lemon. Oh, lemon. Limited edition. You're a lemon guy? Big time. Okay. Jumped black cherry. I didn't think black cherry could ever be jumped. Lemon jumped black cherry. Wow. Yeah. That's the beauty of high noon. You just try all the flavors and then just rotates. Because I, pe- I was black cherry, then I was peach, but I wasn't black cherry like I liked it, but it wasn't my number one. Then Peach was like, this is what I've been looking for all my life. Uh, limited edition flavors are pear and cranberry and tailgate pack and kiwi and guava in the pool pack. Look for them on Drizzly at your local convenience or liquor store or visit highnoonspirits.com to find it near you. There's Mincy. He doesn't drink, but I know even as a non-drinker, he loves High Noon. And he always tells everyone, go drink your High Noon. That's a company man through and through, highnoonspirits.com. Or your local liquor store. They're everywhere now. Yep. I might have a couple high noons tonight, boys. Mm. I might have a couple high noons tonight at the nice game. Nice spring Friday night. Yeah. yeah, what do you think about that? <sighs> I think it's fantastic. Yeah? I get sad when I have too much and my belly's full. Yeah. Like, aw. I want, I want more room for more high noons. That's what I say after drinking them. You going to have a couple of drinks tonight, Nick? I think so. Should we case race? Yeah, I think we should. At the game? Before. <laughs> <laughs> Most expensive case race in the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll take three hundred dollars each. Oh. <laughs> Jay, up, you gonna have a couple drinks? So my best friend is actually coming into town this afternoon, so I'm gonna be at happy hour before with him. So Oh yeah. Jesus. Jay. Are we gonna get a drunk Che? Maybe. Oh, I'll, I'll have a couple. <laughs> take the edge off a bit. He's Boy, do I hope by not. himself? No. Oh, okay. You're asking a lot of personal questions today, Reek. Well, I'm asking... That was like, a reasonable question. Like, a buddy coming into wait. town is a much younger activity. Wait, so wait, you're going to happy hour with your wife? No, she's with the kids at home. But you said your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> so my your wife's not your best friend? No, my wife is my oh, best okay, friend. Oh, okay, all right. That was a tough one. <sighs> Got you there. Fair. <laughs> Go, yeah. Fair play. Step your pussy up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Clean shot. <laughs> I just thought it was laid out uniquely. Like a buddy coming into town is, oh, you're you live somewhere, they're visiting college. Like you have friends coming into town is different. I don't know. I thought he just laid it out differently. Okay. The brain of yours, man. It's, like I'm going to visit a buddy. You say I said that when I was 22, 24. It's an interesting way he laid it out. You assume he's staying with you too. Yes. Quite a brain. Yes. The way he laid it out. Yes. The brain's always like, cooking. But no, crashing no, on the couch. No, 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 no. When you're in your late 30s and you have kids there's no crashing on the couch anymore okay but a buddy coming into town gives me those vibes i think oh. it gave nick buddy coming into town one. at his age gets a it, is yeah. it, it's getting a hotel he's getting a hotel that's or, deal, or doing his own thing it and you're just gonna too, find too old i think it's when you when, when kids are involved married yeah married you can still do a buddy like if you have an extra bedroom but when kids are involved it's offering you want to stay with me and they know i'm not going to accept yeah, this it. yeah you don't want to see your friends at their worst i'm, I'm yeah. right i'm still annoyed That's when it. i have like buddies in town and uh they stay with me for like f- three nights yeah too much but you bring buddies in all the time i got buddies out Constantly the wazoo got buddies, yeah. Yeah. yeah i one of my best friends used to always stay like two days extra and it was actually kind of funny he would like we'd all go somewhere for like a friday to sunday and he would be like oh i got a cheaper flight tuesday morning 
And you should be stuck with one friend. Yeah. <laughs> stay at his house. I think in New York, though, it's different because it's so expensive to stay in hotels here. That yeah, if that you have a true. friend, it's like, can I crash with you, actually? That's true. I mean, listen, it's kind yeah, of a sad. The- there is no nothing better when you're in your 20s and, like, friends come to visit you and everyone. It's like a mini bachelor party. Everyone oh, yeah. stays over. I'm just saying that when you get a little older, I feel like the stay over, it doesn't happen as often. No. It's more like, because I, I th- also think, like, I, if I go somewhere... I don't want to stay at someone else's house. No. I really have my own and space. And I agree with you Especially at that old age. But, yeah. but a buddy coming into town means he's staying with you. In my mind, anyway. That's the vibe I get. And I was confused why he would yes, be I doing that at his age. I could see that. Huh. huh. So is your buddy that's coming into town mad that he's not coming to the Knicks game with us? No. He, he's got his own thing. His wife is like, her high school friends are here. So it's like, mm. he's kind of the extra dude. Got so it. you're leaving him. Sounds like hell. He's got nowhere to hang out with his wife. He's got nowhere to hang out with you. Sounds pretty awesome. What are you guys going to catch up about? I would love to just, I'd love to see a recording of Stephen Che, like, earnest friendship. I have a feeling he's the legend of the friend group. Well, Well, now he is. Yeah. I think he always was. I think he always was. Uh. Well, he was in his mind. Uh, I I think think that made him the legend of the friend group. I think it'd be, I think. He a 4-4, for God's sake. Yep. He manifested being the legend in his friend group. He was the cool one of the friend group. Remember the egg story? Are you the cool one in your friend group? I think we're all pretty solid. That's a yes. Where did you go? To the college? Yeah. Hofstra, Long Island. Hofstra, okay, Long Island. That's where he ran a 4-3. 4-4. Four, 4-4, four. Four, four. Four, come four, on, sorry, big guy. That's would be preposterous. But there, was a, there was a wind in your face, right? I think it was a pretty... Breezel stay. Okay. They closed that Hooters across from Hofstra's football field. I don't know. You never went. Well, he, I mean, he never had to go to the football field. He was running his forties yeah. at Jets Day and Fair enough stuff like that. Hofstra doesn't have a football team anymore, right? Nope. Brutal. Where Where does Marcus Colson go back for homecoming? I know. Or Willie Colon. Willie Colon has been inducted into the Hofstra Athletics Hall of Fame this year. Seems like he should have already been there. Yeah, I don't know what the statue is. He's a Super Bowl ring. As soon as the Hofstra guy gets to the NFL, he should be in the Hofstra Hall of Fame. He wins a Super Bowl ring. They had a decent amount of dudes for a while. Wayne Corbett, too. Kyle Arrington won a Super Bowl. Uh, Stephen Bowen was a decent player for a while. Corbett, obviously. Colston. Why are you talking so low? I feel like you're talking low today. Sorry. I'll I'll project more. Thanks. Don't let him talk to you like that, Stephen. It's all right. Yeah. Please don't push back. I can't take it. <laughs> I mean, he did try to quit. First of all, you can't tell tone in text message, all right? I was really just Oh, it was a text message. I was really just starting a conversation. It I was, can I still look for another job? Well, he did at one point. <laughs> he did at one point text me and say, if you don't like what I'm saying, you can fucking quit and see what's out there, you dumb fucking redneck. So He said all that? Yeah. <sighs> So uh, I you said dumb fucking redneck. I was taking that uh, brain dead piece of shit. That's different. Uh, I guess it is. Yeah. But like he he put that on the table, not me. I was like, is that still available? If you're still gonna talk, oh, you were getting smart. Yeah, you were getting smarmy with him and fresh. Fourteen year old, like you said. Yeah. Fourteen year old, like. Yeah, that. he is fresh. Because yep. it was I, I mean, I remember. Testing the boundaries yeah. a little bit. Fucked up, but he immediately was like, yeah. "Was it really a fuck up, Dad?" Hmm. Fresh mouth. You know you're. You know if you take away the car, I'm gonna. You're gonna have to drive me everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was that. It was that. It was that type of argument. Well, <laughs> you think I'm such a dickhead? Why don't you just let me leave the house then? Yeah. <laughs> the irony of all this is, I, I was not irony, but like I was literally having this text conversation where I was talking about quitting and what the options were and everything. I was at a. Chick fil A in Fort Payne, Alabama, because I was driving 14 hours to get back here. Mm-hmm. And I was, and then we couldn't stay. So I'm just driving down the road illegally texting all this shit while I'm trying to drive 14 hours. It was a miserable experience. He was on Lo- Lake Como. I got, uh, yeah. Buy a house. <laughs> and then you were buying a house. I just, yeah, yeah I just agreed to buy the house three hours earlier. Seems so would you funny. have just yeah. stayed in Mississippi if you were just like, yeah, all right, I'll quit? Well, my wife was already here, so I would have had to come get her. I flew her. Uh, I just been like, hey, honey, sorry. I flew her back. She, as soon as she work. lands, you're like, hey, yeah, <laughs> come back. Yeah, I quit. How do you feel about working, honey? How do you feel about <laughs> switching? 
Uh, yeah. Whatever. I got emotional. I, I made a stupid decision. It happens. Happens to the best of us. I agree. Or the worst of us. Or the yeah, worst you. of us. <laughs> I feel like the three of us. I, I forgot about you. Terrible emotional intelligence. I don't think you qualify with me, Enrico. To be honest, mm. where's your bad emotional intelligence? She says sorry, sorry to now, everyone. Man. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't do like off the rails shit. Hey, you, oh, you don't publicly. Yeah, like, publicly. You went to war. Yeah, you went to war twice. Excuse. Yeah, you're not. Allowed, you're not allowed to be lumped in with these two psychos. Oh, my friends are dead. Who? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> all my friends are dead. No, oh. some of them are homeless. Uh, you think <laughs> <laughs> I think that's war. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever had yeah. someone say their say your government name after you kicked a soccer ball into a net? <laughs> no, no, that's true. That's true. That's that's, that's war, point. baby. That's that was your Iraq. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going into the mental file for tonight. It's just the, yeah. the, the, it's the, the back up later. The animation. We should just remake the start of Saving Private Ryan, and it's just. <laughs> All Ricos storming Normandy, but it's also all Ricos in the bunker shooting yeah. at Ricos. I want Rico to have like a devil <laughs> pop up on his shoulder, just be like throw the can, and then like the other one is also a devil. He's like, yeah, do it. Yeah, <laughs> just do it. Well, make sure, make sure you throw it fast, throw as hard as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're fucked up. Uh, you, Rico, I, I said something nice about Brandon. You have had a, a very good uh, stretch here of a couple months. You're putting together a little bit of a winning streak. I didn't want to get. I mean, it is you know we had a good season. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You're you're putting together. A little bit of a winning streak when here. When it comes down to it, it's it's not that hard of a job, but uh, I'd you, say know, it's the you have mental in the world. You have mental problems, like you know, that boombox video was almost like you coming out of the cocoon. <laughs> yeah, a rebirth. He goes back. Yeah, yeah. And then all your meetings, Final Four. Yeah, yeah. I gotta stay busy. Did you ever have dinner with Nate Oates? Uh, oh, he was interviewing assistants, and you didn't get in on that. What the fuck? I'm a bo- I want to be a booster. You want to be a booster? Just want to be. I mean, yeah, power broker. Buddy, you can't be an Alabama booster. You got to be. Are you trying to just be? Who are you trying to be? Uh, Sonny Vaccaro. Okay. I actually don't hate that. Or the Pump Brothers. You would be a. I think fun you're trying to be that guy from. You want to go Night next year? The the. the want to go next year? What? The Pump Party. What's a pump no. party? What's a pump party? All the coaches and they have it at this like every year at the Final Four. It's like the party. I got there this year for the first time. How was it? Sick, dude. Like where, like, what's the vibe? Like, what is it? It's a, at a like a club outside. Their all the coaches get pump? tickets, and then all yeah, the Pump Brothers. They were sneaker guys too. That's I got. Awesome. That's the goal. I got to meet these guys. I got to meet these guys. I I would like to see you as a, and the three of us, and I get them the Power Broker shirts, and the three of us. That's that's the three. You got. <laughs> yeah, it's a good. It's a good plan. It is. I don't. Maybe don't do that. Okay. Shirts. Power Broker shirts. That feels. A little. I think actual power brokers would want a power broker. Yeah, right. Fair enough. I think that's maybe like a pin or something. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they it's love. It's like it. meeting Patrick Mahomes, giving him a Patrick Mahomes jersey. <laughs> Let's all put this on. Well, he Mahomes wears one even, all the time, Brandon. Patrick Mahomes not even the best in his own family. Jackson Mahomes is the star of that family. That's actually true. Probably more TikTok followers. Oh yeah. Did he get a? Was that a fake tweet yesterday? Did he get arrested? He did. He did a he did a, a forced kiss. Oh. Yeah, I know he was in some trouble. Yeah, he he did force kiss someone. I really only stand him when the Chiefs are making a run. This, this oh, Super you're pro Mahomes, oh, pro yeah. Jackson, yeah. Dance on him, King, and then I tweet his latest TikTok. <laughs> he's good. He's good. He gets the people talking. You, you want to call Chad? Talk and his call lips are on you. Oh, should we call Chad? <laughs> really Who's know. got his I, number? I watched back the tape. Yeah. You got got. I know. You were the first one. You to were the one who, who who elicited the hello from me. Because there was a weird pause. I know. He paused for four seconds. But watching it back, it was like you it was like you false started and then I false started, but I got called for the false start. Yeah. <laughs> because you did get it's the yak with Big Cat, baby. He got me. He got he got us all very bad. Let's call him though. Text you his number. Let's do it from a different. No, number. no, no, no. Come on, no, you don't want Chad oh, to have your play. number. All right, call, text him from the, the text to TJ, and he'll we'll call it over so we can all hear it. it says text is off. I have a uh, DoorDash. I DoorDashed a belt coming. You can DoorDash from Macy's. Really? Yeah. yeah Jeff belt. knows all that weird. Yeah. Stuff. He's the one that told me about it. You want to talk to Chad Hanks? I'll say something to him. All right, all right. Rico will will run point. Those up. two will hit it off. 
Wait, is this real? I didn't find whatever. Oh, he's no. They they met Chet Hanks. They he was in a Rediscovering America. Okay. How often does Rico's brain have to ask? Is this real? Yeah. Is this, all right. Is this is this Every real? Next to Zah. To who? Zah. Zah. Found the Brandon photo, by the way. Yeah. Oh yeah. Said that. The original photo is. Real. That's 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 me. No. Uh, yeah. They thinned your face. They your thinned. They no, did they some, didn't. Yes, they something. They did not. They highlighted it or something. They just took the, the logo off. You look like a Real Housewives of Jersey husband. Like, that is oh. me. They that's, took out the most important part of the photo. That's the same photo. No. they it's me el- and Kampunk. They elongated your head. And, and also, you don't wear black shirts. That's right. a black shirt. Right? But it's got writing on it. That's still a black you shirt. You don't wear just black shirts. That's still a black shirt. Why Even would you ever be with CM Punk in Barstool? Well, I had a show. <laughs> Hey, Rico, you got point. <laughs> you know who Chet Hanks is, right? Token or something? Yeah. Yeah. Tom Hanks' son. Yeah. He does the rap video. One of them. I think I'm just going to ask him about the Knicks. <gasps> Get a pick. Get a pick. I'll put anything on a Chet Hanks pick. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? It's Rico. Sorry. <laughs> we got him again. <laughs> yes. Work. We just have to do this to everyone who comes yeah. into the yak now. That's <laughs> uh, unbelievable. That happened to us yesterday. That's what yeah, I about. didn't know where it so went. I, I knew some stuff like we that's like Woodstock to me. I know a little bit about it, but I don't know all the details, and I am fascinated by it. So I want to watch the documentaries. <laughs> no, but we, we that is his real voicemail. That's his real number. Got it. And we got got yesterday the same exact way. <laughs> yeah, we just any 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 guests or any random person who comes in, we just like, you want to call Chet Hanks? Yeah, yeah. Well, Rico, you dove right in. Oh yeah. 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 yeah you no pause. Knew me. Uh, you could already see the no, selfie on your timeline. <laughs> no, it's Rico. <laughs> me. <laughs> I gotta take this. Chet Hanks, what a legend. Hopefully we meet him someday. It's like, <laughs> I hope we never meet him. I don't know if anybody meshes more seamlessly than Rico when on the yak. Ray Romano did pretty good. good. Ray did well. Ray did well. Yes. I wore a twins hat today because of because of that. that oh, was, that yeah, sense. yeah. That's a sick hat. Because of what? Because of the the kissing twins. Oh, from yeah, yes, yes. Yep. Is Rico power broken right now? I think he is. Oh, he's taking a call. Yeah, he's taking a call. He's got a call. He's calling Chet and apologizing for. Hey, man, I'm sorry about those guys. Yeah, I just had to do that because I was on the yak. It's not that big of a deal. Can we get Chet to I play th- Rico in the documentary? Oh. <laughs> I would like to play, yeah, I would like to use, I'd like to make it as confusing as possible because I think it's one of those, like, uh, abstract, like, almost Shia La Bo- the Boof yeah. uh, mm-hmm. movies where we make it so confusing that at the end of the movie you feel like Rico Bosco. So that means you feel mentally puts tortured. your brain where his brain is. Yes, exactly. So it's like a, almost an experiment. So we have like, like fifteen different actors playing Rico Bosco. Okay, so like the, like the Bob Dylan yeah. movie. Yeah. Or we do a Nutty Professor, and Rico oh, plays everybody. everyone. <laughs> that would also be good. We could make multiple movies too. Well, yeah, because we could do one from what actually happened, and then Rico playing everybody to like your vantage point. Yeah, I kind of prefer the Nutty Professor version. I want Rico playing everybody. I, I think want it's people important to, to have an all woman. Rico playing the do all woman cast. No, this is How not many, passing the Bechtel. No. How many parts of the entire saga? I want to do would just there be. Just I know, I know. I get what you're saying. Yeah. This could be an endless series. Would it oh, be it's like a, it last could be dance? How many volumes? Oh, I just want to do the. I just want to do the six months. But I could see like that was the forty eight hours. It's 48 hours, but it's also six months. This could be like that Game of Thrones prequel where there's like the time jump, too. Yeah, there's got to be flashes of context of other Yeah, but context. very confusing. I want it like Memento style, where we, you just walk out and you're like, what did what did I just... So like a non-linear story. Maybe it starts with the good times. You're like, why do you leave? And then part two, the bad times. Yeah. It's like, no, of course he wanted to leave. Yeah. Yeah, it just jumps everywhere. Yeah. I like it. This is gonna, yeah. That's what it did for those forty-eight I hours. I think it, I think we could maybe get it this in in, in, in cons cons. Can't, no, oh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't really think of that until right now. Imagine winning at cons. How many with his wife there? Cons or cons? How many <laughs> showings? If if you got it into a theater, how many showings do you think people would we would sell out? Endless. I think you could do one day, 
10 showings. I think if we do this movie correctly, it might heal America. Yeah. Good. Because then we could we could have a zoom out of like, Rico is actually just an embodiment now, of everything that's wrong with this world. Here's what you're not thinking about. This would trigger, even even a successful movie, seeing it again would trigger the biggest Rico freak out of all time. Well, that's why we're going to do a, a, a live, we're right. gonna, the ending of the movie hasn't won't be taped until he watches the movie. Oh, it would be a live reaction. To the end. Who gets final cut. Wow, yeah. Yeah. This is a very ambitious project. To I don't want Rico reacting to it in here. I want to see Rico in the car driving home. No, no. He'll, that's when he reacts. Every viewing of uh, 48 Hours in Bosco will be, at the end of the movie, it will sh- flash to him live in like a, a mental hospital right. watching 48 Hours of Bosco again. Well, everyone gets their own it's, it's unique experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, that's Final Cut. I mean, I would like to get like Spielberg or like Scorsese <laughs> on this. Fair. Yeah, you get Abrams. Uh, I'll but I'll also settle for for Jersey Jerry with how he's been editing stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, his that's edits JJ are Abrams. electric. <laughs> yeah. So good. No, but like Rico, maybe, re- yeah, we, maybe Jerry should make this movie. If you just fire blast. If you uh, end up nutty around. professor this, and you play all the roles when the credits roll, is it just going to have to be redacted? Oh, yeah. Redacted. Just a black screen. Go one. Redacted. <laughs> Jeff, they do. Redacted. <laughs> yeah, that's part of the confusion. Yeah. Oh, man. We're going to make him feel like Rico. I think this might be... This is going to change lives. Yeah. <laughs> it changed mine. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's the thing. No, no. I don't want people walking away feeling hopeful about life. Uh. I want them to feel... I don't think it'll be possible for them yeah. to, to... Like in Uncut Gems, you're just so stressed out the entire so stressed, time, so and the nervous. end is still... Right. Ah. As stressful, yeah. yeah. I want that times a million. Hmm. Maybe we even make it like interactive, where at a portion of the movie, we have hired actors just run into the uh, movie theater throwing cans at everyone. Yeah. <laughs> like those Disney, when they, you feel the wind, yeah. and you feel the... Yeah, you should a have 4D dodgy. experience. Yeah. Yeah. No one's done 4D. To right? sign a waiver to even enter the theater. Years, I think. What's real life? What would that be? Three. That's 3D is real yeah. life? What is 4D? I don't know. <laughs> really big titties. Yeah, and you could get like a, t- everyone gets an automatic text. It's like, are you really going to take this job at Odyssey? And they have to answer it. They have to answer it. And then, and the movie however changes. you answer, you go into a different. <laughs> yeah, thing. that should there should be a movie theater where like, all right, leave this room and go into like you you build the movie as you build go. your own adventure. Yeah, what yeah. if it's like Jurassic Park where you get in the car with Rico? Yeah, and you're like, <laughs> it's, it's a like ride. Envoy of Rico's, yeah, and the gas is, 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 is dangling on the side. <laughs> 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 it's a nice. Movie. I think this is gonna be a cult classic. <laughs> Might really only. Like, I might be the only one who finds it fascinating, but that's fine. I think it's going to make Rico a sympathetic character. It would be really funny if I just, if I went bankrupt on this. Like, where'd all your money go? Got a loan. I just got in too deep on this 48 hours in Bosco. <laughs> it's almost done. It's almost done. Six years from now, you're still talking about it. It's like the George R. Martin books. Yeah. Seven years. Yeah, it just never will be finished. Hands long retired. Yeah. Nah, I'm good with, it's yeah, not, take, it's take it over. Perfect. Kids are about to enter high school, and they're like, "Yeah, Dad, why are you going to come to graduation? Almost no, done. no." Three hours of bus. They're doing sad TikToks about you. They're like, "Our dad's been working on this project for twenty years, and yeah. no one Nobody cares." cares. Oh, no. oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 no. Because the CEO of Audacity by this point. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way they're going. Uh, um, uh, do the anyone do the chilies read? Hell And yeah. TJ, are you ready for your unboxing? Yeah, before I get to that, I need more people to send in houses that we can use for roof ball. We're trying to make that happen soon. So if you have a house that has a chimney on top of the garage area. We need it. We need more submissions. Send them to me on Twitter. We need it. We need it. We Beacon. really want to play roof ball. So anything that's within an hour yeah. of Manhattan. It's 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 happening. Like, and, and we you, have sponsors behind it. Yeah, like, and uh, the person... Whose house we use, they are playing. They are a competitor. Okay. So you get to compete with us. Mm-hmm. And we'll do a cash prize and everything. TJ's doing the stream by himself. Oh, yeah. 40 minutes. It was, uh, yeah, on my wheel. 40, uh, it was Yak Solo. I might go crazy and do an hour. 
Holy oh, shit. Fuck. It's legally not allowed. Oh, minutes, oh okay. I'll it's bring sport. somebody in so it's not solo. What do you mean you legal? It's supposed to be solo, right? Yeah, After 40 minutes, out. I'll bring somebody oh, I in. I see. I have a sinking feeling the mountain that the ants came with will be another package you open. Yep. And they could have been I'll saved. I'll give that to Tommy. <laughs> or me. Uh, guys, I'm hungry. And I'm hungry for chilies. Mm-hmm. Only at chilies we get, well, ten ninety nine. get you a bottomless drink, a starter, like bottomless chips and salsa, full-size entree like the classic old-timer with cheese, and a big old side of fries with the chilies three-for-me deal. I'm telling you, it's a feast. But it's like a casual feast. It's just ten ninety nine. so we're not talking gold forks and stuff. You can't get this unbeatable abundance of food elsewhere. So you're getting fast food or picking up groceries? Nah, only at Chili's. Head to your local Chili's where you can enjoy the three for me deal for ten ninety nine. I've been enjoying the three for two meal for ten ninety nine. Ooh, yeah, it's an even better deal if you're out there and you're. It's right. true. It's ten ninety nine. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Dang. All time restaurant logo as well. Do you think there's any parents out there that like keep? Uh, Accounting of everything they spend on their child so that they one day can bill them. Yeah, probably. I I would only say no because it's so painful to look. Yeah. Even at a month's worth of expenses for kids. That'd be very funny. I mean, how much do you think you've spent on your kid year to date? Is it crazy to say tens of thousands? Yeah, no, it's not crazy at all. Tens of thousands of dollars. Easily. It's crazy. Brandon, you have four. Mm -hmm. You promised us a fifth this year. Good thing yeah, you want to work you. at your job forever. It's just April. Mm. Although I think I promised a kid last year. Oh, you did. Yeah, I was th- I was hoping. Yeah, well, I I don't. Yeah. yeah, what's going on? I just I don't know. I just haven't made a kid yet. You made a kid. You made a kid. I, we can't all make kids at the same time. Yeah, we can. <laughs> we could. It's very weird. Why don't you try to sell that, TJ? Why don't we get up the sales? <laughs> Can we put that on the wheel where we all you have to make oh, where we just like all come in the same container and then just see what kid comes Which, out? <laughs> let's see who's the fastest. <laughs> <laughs> you mixed all. What would wait? I'm very curious. Like, I don't know. If you're in like a if it's like polygamy and you're like, all right, I'm ready for a kid. Only if it's multiple husbands, one girl. Yeah. You just put it all together and just be like, may the best man win. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe they all, could, like, they, we get the best qualities of all of them. Yeah. Could, you know, could get the worst. Could get the worst. Could get, like, an ugly serial killer. Yeah. Yeah, we should try. Are are twins two sperm spells, or does it split once splits. it's there? Doesn't it the depend? The splits, right? Isn't there two kinds of twins? Paternal and... One's, like, we're two different Octernal. ones. Oh, uh, nocturnal, yeah. Right. in, and the others where... Yeah, paternal and nocturnal. Splits. That's right, nocturnal twins. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on when you had sex, yeah. Yeah. You sex at night and night. you make twins. Those are nocturnal. Those are nocturnal twins, okay. That Twinsburg, Ohio I told you, thing. I told you about the lady on uh, Staten Island who had twins, right? Uh-uh. Probably more than one, but yeah. It's a joke? Yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry, go <laughs> ahead. Good or bad. Again, start again, start again, okay. start again. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay. Lady on, no, you, why are you already sinking? You think it's going to be bad? No, it's going to like these jokes. Start again, start again. Uh, lady on Staten Island has. No, 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 start, start to you got to ask us what about Did I tell you about the, the lady I know who had twins? No. Oh. Lady on Staten Island had twins. Something goes wrong in the procedure. The husband's out of town, and uh, she gets, like, knocked out. They don't know if she's going to make it. So they're like, you know, somebody's got to name these kids. So her brother has always had a close relationship. Her, her brother's there. She wakes up. She comes back out of it. She's like, what happened? Like, completely blacked out. Her brother's like, well, you had a boy and a girl. Like, you were knocked out. We didn't think you were going to make it. They, they asked me to name the kids. She's like, okay, that's great. What would you name the kids? She goes, well, I named the girl Denise. So like, okay, I can live with that. It's nice. What would you name the boy? The nephew. <laughs> there it is. And did you know where that was going? Yeah. Hey. It's a, it's, that's a good joke. It's, it's one of his hits. Oh, that's a good joke. I like that one. All right. Well, let's see. Yeah, let's put it out that. Yeah, that's the uh, TJ. You got 40, 40 minutes. Yeah, you guys got to leave. Yeah, next yeah, we week. Are. Yeah, next week, hey, by bitch. the way. Remember, next week, big week. Uh, I think the office is going to be buzzing, but uh, Wednesday will be 10K Redemption with the popcorn challenge as well. So we're going to knock out both. And uh, after tonight, we will have Jenks report hopefully sometime in the next couple of weeks. Please do send TJ houses. Uh, could be Long Island, could be Jersey, wherever. Hour away, roof ball. We desperately want to play and do it soon. So, all right, everyone have a great weekend. TJ, take it away.
All right. Have, have a good weekend, everybody. Peace. Have fun, TJ. Oh, whoops, mine is still on. Oh, you're going to use this one? Yeah. All right, have fun. Mine's off. Peace. Hello. Yeah. All right. Let me get a timer going.
kind of the only reason why I'm doing anything now. But um, Final Four last year was so much fucking fun. It was like the best. It was my first time in New Orleans, and that's like literally the. Be- I think that might be the best city in the country. You picked the perfect major and minor for doing what you do. That's impressive. Yeah, that was kind of the objective. I knew I wanted to work in sports media coming out of high school. I didn't really focus in on Barstool till I was like a sophomore. I thought initially I wanted to work in social media for a sports team, like run the Yankees Twitter or whatever. We're glad you had your redemption with Dave. Thanks. I'm glad that worked out, too. I got lucky. Do you think Sass is mid? No. I think he's I think super fucking funny. I, I saw him at one of Owen's shows do stand-up, and I don't, like, he's, I, I'd imagine he's probably pissed a lot of older comedians off because he's so good and he's so young. How did you like Omaha? I thought it was great. I was, like, incredibly busy for the, the, the two weeks that we were there. But, like, the little amount of time that I got to, like, go out in that city, it was kind of awesome. Kind of kicked ass. I imagine it's weird the other 50 weeks of the year when there's not the World Series there. Last Super Bowl yak was goaded. Yeah, that was a great time, too. But L.A. is just not. L.A. wasn't a great host city for that. I don't know. Hard to explain. Is this a sneaky 12 hour? No, I'm going to get out of here soon. But there's still a lot of people here. New Orleans is a fucking dump, a fun one, but only for 48 hours. Yeah, I can see where that might get exhausting, but, I mean, the fu- the food's good, the nightlife was good. Also, when there's an event like Final Four there, like, everybody was there for the Final Four, and you could tell. Like, Houston this year was so much worse for that. Favorite out-of-order sketch so far? I thought the American streamer was something that you could see on, like, a very professional sketch show. Not saying that they're not. Like, I think that they're well on their way to that, but that was, like, so well done and really, really funny. TJ2LA, true. You guys got me there. What is doing social? Is it just promoting on Twitter, Instagram, et cetera? Um, like, take, like, the Barstool Sportsbook socials for or take the yak socials like somebody has to get all the clips out that we post and also there's like sponsored social tweets that go out and other posts and just like keeping it unique and growing the pages yeah welcome to mo's great sketch i was stunned that they were allowed to do that and use the logos and stuff i don't know if they just did that and they are asking for forgiveness rather than permission but that was fucking hilarious though what will you miss most about New York when you move to Chicago? Just being close to home. But it's a, it was a no-brainer for me to go. Like, I'm not going to leave this show in somebody else's hands. You have to pry the yak from my cold, dead hands. No matter what I'm doing, I'll be doing the yak. Do you have any winners for this weekend? I think that there's a realistic chance, and I said this on Titus Pod, subscribe to the pod, that the Kings win game four to go up 3-1 and then lose the series. Uh, You heard it here first. Any plans for Barstool's 20th anniversary? Yes. I will not spoil anything. Here comes Jack Mac walking down the hallway. Jack Mac just hit 500K on TikTok. Hey, what is that? Bro, tart came through, bro. They gave me the tart ones. What does that mean? What size shoe you wear? 11. Yo, these are yours. What the fuck are those? You want to wear these? They tart sent them. But I, I, they sent two pairs. I'm a 10 and a half. Who sent them? Tart. What is tart? You know the place that did like the trip and I did the... Uh, I did the TikTok on them, Alex Earl, like they went to oh, Dubai. What? And they sent that, yeah. Yeah. They just sent it. What the fuck? Look at these, the tart one, the purple. Real. 
What does Jack Mac have to say about the world? No face. Speak into the mic, Jack Mac. Thick Mac. Say less. What up, guys? Shout out to uh, um, TJ. I know this is a uh, solo stream, so I'll get out. Pussy Foot Mac? Interesting. <laughs> I know it's a solo stream. Guys, let's give it up in the chat for Jack Mac. 500K on TikTok. All right, Burton Reynolds. I like Jack Mack. Yeah. Uh, what a guy. Put him on the wheel. Being a sneaker guy is the most over. Yeah, I, I like New Balances now. I want the Action Bronson New Balances, even though they're ugly as fuck. Nineteen viewers on Twitch and forty five hundred on YouTube. Yeah, shout out to like the two dozen people that watch on Twitch. I don't know why we stream on there if we're being quite honest. Take Derek White twenty five plus points with the boys. The music stopped? No, it didn't. Hey, free shoes are free shoes. I bet your folks will miss you. Damn, that's kind of going to make me cry. I'm an hour 20 behind. There's no way he's still alive. Yeah, bro. Can I be the tightest social intern? We got dupes. Is Yak your favorite show to do? Yeah. Favorite Rutgers moment? The buzzer beater, Ron Harper Jr. over number one Purdue. I think you guys could do more on Twitch, but the act itself probably doesn't make sense. It doesn't. It, it could make sense to do on Twitch, but the audience is built up on YouTube already. Like it wouldn't make sense for us to dump the audience on YouTube. Perfect game through seven for the Cubs. Ooh, come to Canada. All right. Plane tickets to Chicago are cheap, though. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like there's 60 flights a day between New York and Chicago, or New Jersey and Chicago, and New York and Chicago. So I'm not worried about it. I can make it home by dinner if I left right now. Have you ever had bone marrow in like pasta dishes and stuff? I'm kind of that kind of gives me the like the fucking squeamish watching them cut the shit out of the bone. Favorite Zen fa flavor? I don't. I don't. I don't Zen. Everything else on YouTube anyways, too. Yeah, it's it's not exactly easy to convert um, viewers across platforms. Like, it wouldn't work out really well. Plus, we want to focus on one thing, and YouTube's the most important to grow right now for brand health. When are you throwing out the first pitch at Bainton? I did get a DM the other day about doing that again. So, hopefully, in a couple of weeks. Are you going to pay for a blue check? Nah, that doesn't affect me. YouTube is a W. You can't rewind on Twitch. Yeah, there's a lot on YouTube that you can't do that you can't on Twitch. But our audience is here, so. The audience, they actually say fuck the audience on YouTube and Twitch and go to kick. Yeah, no. <laughs> no shot. It was hard enough to convert people into making YouTube accounts. We're not going to have them try and make accounts on a website that might not exist in a month. Bye, Ebo. Four thirty p.m. Office is fucking empty. TJ deserves throwing the first pitch at Yankee Stadium. Facts. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap it up. I appreciate everybody that came through, everybody that sent stuff. You guys have, you guys are the goats. Maybe I will make this a semi-regular thing. Probably not, but uh, <laughs> this was fun.
I do. I I will say this. I do want to get back into streaming at some point because I think it's a good way to uh, talk to the audience, gauge ideas, figure out what works, what doesn't work, that sort of thing. Still, there's over four thousand people watching this for two hours or an hour. It's crazy. So thank you guys. I hope everybody has a good weekend. If you have a, a roof ball house, hit me up on uh, Twitter. It's just my name, TJ Hitchings. We will come to one of your houses and play roof ball within like the next two months, probably. So if you want me to come to your house, wait. All right. See you guys on Monday. Bye.